Hello and welcome to an exclusive look at For Honor. Today I'm going to be showing you the Dominion mode and I'm really, really excited and immensely privileged to be allowed to show you guys this. So the Dominion mode is very much a capture the flag style game. You want to take the control zones and you want to kill enemies to get a thousand points. Once you do that, it allows you to break the enemy team, which allows you to kill them permanently and win. Now this is a very close game, and I'm a massive noob at it, so I apologise in advance. But hopefully this will give you guys an idea of how the gameplay works. Now I'm playing a Warden, which is one of the Knights. I'm actually in a female model, just for the record. And I have chosen this specific outfit here as one of the many customizations you could do. I'm just running over to capture point B because I'm going to sneak behind the enemy and capture it from them. Because I've noticed no one is protecting it, and that's the important thing, is to protect your assets. Now you gain points by capturing different zones. So for example, I have just captured zone B. Now that will give me points, but if they come back and take it, I will lose some of those points. So I have to keep an eye on it. I'm going into zone A now, which is the middle zone, which is very much the intensive action pack zone. I'm already getting hit by a variety of NPCs and by that guy there. Um, I've tried to block him a few times, but he is probably going to win. And there we go. He is actually executing me. But that gives me a perfect time to not only look at what my other teammates are doing, but give me an overall view of the map, which allows me to see where the lay of the land is, you know, where my teammates are, where they are, and try and counter that. So I am now running head on into A, which is a terrible idea. These guys have noticed I'm on my own and are gonna kick the shit out of me. Much like that. So that was the end of me. But that's fine, because we can bring it back, right? You'll notice that zone B, there's two people fighting one guy. You very much want to outnumber the enemy team, wherever you are. So you kind of want to make sure that you're at the advantage. Now, this guy is going up to zone C. I'm going to try and cut him off and defend this zone, because I don't want him in here. So here I am, I'm doing this. The combat system itself is a bit strange to start with, but actually pretty funky. And once you get it... It's really cool. You use the analog sticks to control the direction in which you either attack or block. And that actually allows for a quite simplified system, which works really well. So this guy here, I'm having a little attack on him, but you can see we've both got arrows on our bodies. So I'm controlling where I'm going to block. He's controlling where he's blocking, but he can also control where he's going to attack. So he's switching up. I've switched up. He tried to surprise me there. Didn't work. I've managed to get a few hits in, actually. He's hit me back as well, which is not great, but, you know, I'm not giving up capture point C. I've actually got reinforcements coming in, which you can see on the mini-map in the top right. So I'm just holding him off until, here we go, here comes the reinforcements. And there we go, we have successfully defended point C. Now you'll notice that it just said feet unlocked. Now you can gain feats by either capturing points or by killing the enemy team. Now. When you die, they reset, which is why I'm going to talk about them now, because I have two of them unlocked. The first one is a passive skill that will give you health when you kill the very small AI guys that are in the middle of point A. And that gives you a little bit of health back, which allows you to regenerate. The second one is a AoE buff that you can give to yourself and your allies that rallies them. The third one is a heal with a cooldown that you can use to heal yourself. And the fourth one is a giant fiery missile that you can send flying at the map that will one-shot anyone that stands in its way. I'm back at capture point C currently and I'm heavily outmanned to the extent that I'm running away. And it just goes to show how numbers are so important in this game, how working with your team is so important. If you get caught out on your own, you are completely and utterly finished. So, as you can see here, it's kind of gone a bit wrong. You can see that the blue team has 900 odd points and we have 391. But they've just lost capture point B. Oh, and now they're getting it back. So you see the points jump up and down, depending on what capture points you have. Now, attackers are breaking. Stand and fight means basically we have one life left. Unless we can capture a point back or change the system so we're not on a thousand points, we will lose the game. Now, luckily, this guy ran into a silly place and there were quite a lot of us there, so we basically just gangbanged him, to be honest. He took the point back and stopped the breaking point. And you'll notice as a result, the scores are actually a little bit more even because we own more checkpoints. Oh no, and there we go. I told you you wouldn't miss it. There's the missile. Isn't it glorious? 
Now, it is a bit of a weird system when you first start out because you're like, well, who's breaking point? What breaking point? But once you've played it once or twice, you get it. You really get it. And so, in a minute, we're about to be presented with our own breaking point where we can kill the opposite team. If we can slice through all of them and kill them now, then we will win. And there is only one guy left. Poor guy's at point B. It's a choo-choo train of hate and chainmail and destruction and stab him in the back. And that's it, and we've won. We've won the game. Despite the fact we were so close to losing, that's how quickly this game can turn around. And that is why it is so exciting when you play it. Every game we played in the booth was so, so close. That's it for now, guys, on the For Honor Dominion mode. I hope you have enjoyed this. If you have enjoyed it, please do like and favorite and share with your friends especially if you know they like a long sword. If you're interested in any of the other Ubisoft Gamescom content that I've done, please check the video description. I will also leave a link to the game's website in there as well. It's for honorgame.com. Thank you again to Ubisoft for allowing me to capture this, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!